So welcome back aliens, this is Navin Ranji from Toys for Learnings. In this video, we'll talk about Mentisa and Exponent. Now, what exactly this means? So if you just go back to your school time, where you in, I guess in your secondary school, where we talked about Mentisa and Exponent for the first time, right? So let's say, uh, to understand this, let's take an example. Let's say we have a number which is 6000 here. So how do you represent 6000? So there's one way you can say it is 6 into 10 raised to 3, right? So this is called as a normalized form where you have 6 into 10 to 3 right uh, then we can, if you have a bigger number let's say we have 7 0 0 0 0 0 we have 5 zeros there so it will be 7 into 10 raised to 5 right so that, that's how you represent this so instead of saying 6 into 10 raised to 3 instead of saying 7 into 10 raised to 5 what we can say is we can say this is 6 e 3 and this is 7 e 5 right so this is your mentisa and this is your exponent so when you say 6 into 10 to 3 so which is 6 e3 so whenever you get e you can replace that with 10 into so next time if i say there's something called as 8 e9 what it simply means it is 8 into 10 raised to 9 right but then we are not looking at this in our in, in decimal system we want to talk about binary system right how can you represent this in a binary format so before going for that, I just want to let you know something. Uh, okay, so let's let's ignore that. Let's go for binary system. How can you represent a number in binary format? So if you have a number which is one zero 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 zero, or let's say one one triple zero, how can you represent this in a binary format? It's very simple actually. You can say e, uh, one one, then we say e, then we have four zeros. You can you can say four. Okay, so we have one one, and then we have e, then we have four zeros. But hold on. We are talking about binary system, right? How can you have 4 here? So we cannot write 4, we have to write 1 double 0, which, is, which represents 4, right? So this is 1 1 e 1 triple 0, or 1 double 0, right? So we can also represent this number in this way. So we can say e, I mean 11, uh, 1 1 into 2 raised to 1 triple 0, right? You will get this number. But the question arises: can you add these two numbers? Let's say if, if so in, in your exam, so basically we're talking about the entrance exam here, right? So let's say in your exam, if you're getting two numbers and if you want to uh, add those two numbers and what are those two numbers are? So let's say we have 1011E1100. If this is your first number, the second number is 1101, then E1101. Now, can you add these two numbers? It is not that easy to add these two numbers because when you say 0 plus 1, I mean you can you can simply add this right, but then what how to add it? Because this is this is mentisa, this is exponent, can we add it directly? Uh, not exactly. So just before going for that, let me just talk about this thing. Can we say 6 uh, e 6 e3 and 7 e5? If you want to add these two values, how do you do it? So can you simply say 3 plus 5 is 8 and 6 plus 7 is 13? Uh, no. If that is the case, what, will, what it will give you? It will give you E, I mean 8 and 13. So it will give you 13 E8, which is not actually right. It's because when you say this number, this is 7, four, uh, 5 zeros and this number is 6 triple zero. So the addition is 7 zero 6 triple zero, right? Which is not like, which, which is not same as this number. So that means whenever you, want, whenever you want to add numbers which has mentisa and exponent, we have to make sure that we can add this number only when. Uh, so we can add these two numbers only when we have 7 into 10 raised to 5 or we can say we can change this number to 700 into 10 raised to 3 and 6 into 10 raised to 3. So we, we have to put this as a common, right? So this will be coming here as it is when you want to add it. Now this thing will be added. So this will be coming as it is and this will be added. So what we have to do is we have to make sure. So whenever you add two numbers, you have to make sure that your mentisa, your, so your, your exponent should be same. So when you, when you want to add these two numbers, your exponent should be same to add it and you have to change your mentisa, right? Uh, so initially this number was seven. I mean, it was seven into 10 to five. If you want to make it 10 to three, you have to shift two zeros, right? So we have shifted two zeros on this side which is 700 so instead of saying instead of saying 7 into 10 to 5 we are saying 700 into 10 to 3 so that's how you do it there right how can you do it here so this is your exponent and this is your mentisa so if you want to add these two numbers we have to make sure that you make this as same 
Now, how can you make the, the same? So either you have to change this value or you have to change this one. So what we will do is we will make a bigger number smaller. So we have a bigger number here. Let's make this smaller. So if you make this zero, now what will change? Now, first of all, to, before changing this, for sure, see when you change this value, there will be an effect on this number. So whenever you change the mantissa, or so whenever you change the exponent, it will affect your mantissa. But with how much numbers? For that, you have to find a difference between these two. So one one zero zero, so it is one one zero zero minus one. I mean, it should be this one. One one zero one minus one one. I mean, so one one zero one minus double one double zero. It will give you zero 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 one, which in decimal system is one, right? Now, since we are changing from one to zero, we have to make sure that we shift the bits on this side. So when you make this zero, you have to shift this bits this side. So the initial number was I forgot the initial number. Uh, it must be 1, 1, 0, 1 and then we have to shift that 0 here and then you have to say plus. So 1, 1, 0, 1 was the initial number. Now shift, since you are shifting the bits on this side, you have to make, you have to add one extra 0 here. And now you can take this as it is, you have to say e and you have to add this number. So it is 1, uh, 0, 1 and then 0, 1, uh, this is 0 and 1. So this, this is your actual value. So if you want to add two numbers, you have to make sure that both the, both the exponents are same. Okay. Now just for the assignment, let's say if I give you this question, A101 and then we have 1011E111. Now if you want to add these two values, you have to make sure that your exponents are same. Now if you can see this is 5 and this is 7, right, in decimal format. So the difference is 2. So if you are making this as 5, you have to shift two bits. So do that and let me know the answer in the comment section what you think was the answer there. Okay. So yeah, so you can also subtract two numbers. The same concept applied for subtraction as well. For subtraction as well, you have to make sure that your exponents are same. You just have to perform the operation on mentisa. But when it comes to multiplication, so when it comes to multiplication, you don't actually make sure that your exponents are same. So in case of multiplication, let's say we have triple one, e101, and one double one zero one a one one one. So this is your exponent, right? So in case of multiplication, you add these values and you sub you multiply these values. So this will be multiplied and this will be added, and then you have to find the answer. So do it and let me know in answer in the comment section. This is this is question one. This is question two. Thanks for watching and let's wait for the next video in which we'll talk about some Boolean algebra concepts. So that's it. Thanks for watching and do subscribe.